Well, I've expressed this before. I'm going to say it again. Perhaps a little bit more directly. I really have gotten to the point where any time I see something described as a disorder, I, I'm ready to I'm ready to call bullshit. They can take anything and say, "Oh, well, we have a medical problem here. It's a such and such disorder." You can call anything a disorder. But the real disorders that they really need to be dealing with, no. No, we don't even mention that. We don't mention the psychological disorders that allow people, allow a whole society to believe complete, blatant bullshit lies. What kind of a disorder do you call that? The Emperor's Clothes Disorder? perhaps why not until you come up with something better the emperor's clothes disorder that's the real disorder we have in this society the world trade centers were two of the probably the tallest buildings in new york or among the tallest they were built as state-of-the-art buildings in the early 70s or late 1960s at the time that we were showing how advanced we were because we could send a man to the moon Neil Armstrong setting foot on the moon moon landing we were the greatest nation on earth we were the most advanced technological nation on earth we had proved it by going to the moon and that was the era in which the world trade centers were built tall skyscrapers engineered designed by engineers to make sure that they were, were built to withstand the the pressures of being very tall designed to be as sturdy as possible Des designed to be as indestructible as possible particularly because they were extra tall they had to be it was World Trade Centers were supposed to be state-of-the-art architectural design. And unless, until somebody comes along and tells me, well, you know, that was the whole point, that the engineers, the architects, designed this building specifically because these buildings, because they were tall, they specifically designed them to make sure that if anything happened, that they would make the least damage the least impact on their surroundings possible they were specifically designed so that they would collapse straight down if that was if that was a design feature of those buildings that's the only explanation that would be at all acceptable similar to um, shatter glass where they have windshields that are designed and you've seen a few of them perhaps in the past not so many lately but uh, the crinkle is if that win if a windshield with shatter glass is hit the whole thing turns into like little snowflake patterns that all just crinkle and collapse in order to prevent injury from an ordinary type of a windshield that or plate glass of any sort that will be hit and it would crack and a big crack and a big jagged splinter of it would come out and, and, and jam into your face or your chest and so crinkle the, the shatter glass was specifically designed specifically to uh, completely collapse into little bits little harmless bits if when impacted and if somebody comes along and tells me well that's exactly the the approach that was made by the engineers who designed the World Trade Centers, well, that would be one thing. And then it would then it would be like, okay, well, obviously, then it, the safety feature, basically, the safety feature uh, came into action, and like a like a um, like an airbag, that there was this designed, built-in safety feature 
that if impacted they would fall straight down and then we would be able to look and say hey well the engineers got it right because it worked exactly as as designed but I have never heard anybody say that the engineers the architects who designed the World Trade Centers designed it with this built-in function that they would collapse straight down and I don't think they did that I think they designed those buildings to be as sturdy as possible so that practically nothing would would bring them down and that if they were impacted from the side that they would remain standing to cause the least impact rather than topple over so all this fucking disorder this and disorder that bullshit if your kid doesn't you know if your kid gets up late for school they'll come up with a, a name to call it the late rising disorder if your kid wets his pants he's got pat he's got pants wetting disorder if your kid doesn't eat his spinach he's got sp spinach non-eating disorder come up with any stick the word disorder on the back of anything and makes it supposedly seem official oh it's official it's it's a diet it's not just a it's not just a criticism it's a diagnosis because anything you could say you criticize kids you say hey stop picking your nose stop running around screaming stop whining but they stick disorder on the end of it say oh he's got nose picking disorder he's got screaming disorder he's got whining disorder now it's something to diagnose and to and to medicate because it's been diagnosed now it's up to the doctors to come up with some chemical to make the kid take this pill each day to make him stop whining or picking his nose or running around screaming and it's fucking bullshit because we live in a society that runs on fucking bullshit surprise surprise no fucking surprise it's not a surprise if you live in a society that's that runs on bullshit it's not a surprise to see that society operating according to bullshit notions it's to be expected a bullshit society will be full of bullshit a bullshit society will have all kinds of all kinds of bullshit diagnoses and bullshit treatments that's the nature of bullshit just like a stupid person will make stupid choices because that's the nature of stupidity.